Welcome back to day six, everyone. So this is um, back in the round pen. She caught like a rock star today and led pretty good. Um, she ground tied really well, so we just dropped the dropped the rope and started the started the lesson right from there. I'm going right to her feet. That's where I left off on on day five. And as you can see, I've added a step. I'm starting to tap on her feet uh, and in introducing her to being hammered on. They can farrier can drive a nail. They really appreciate this one. And then I just go forward through some more lessons, some things she needs to know. I'm going to um, introduce some desensitizing, come forward to a pool. I'm going to take that to another level and use the flag to desensitize her a bit, teach her how to handle some fear, and finish up with uh, moving off the hand. So this lesson I think is going to be, it's under 10 minutes or right around 10 minutes, but we narrowed that down from 27 minutes. So I left a lot of it in real time and then rushed through lessons that, that require both sides. I, I kind of rushed through them and pushed through them pretty fast. So really let you see on one side and then you can transfer the lesson to the other side. So you can still see what's going on when the video is fast forwarding. So just introducing the dressage whip to her she I haven't used it on her before this is the first day so I'm just gonna start asking her to come forward just baby taps and then you can see by me increasing that tap pressure real smoothly she gives me a bit of a jump and I release for that and that's something I can build on because the timing was right when she sped up and just watch it here again watch the timing of the release right there that drop it as soon as she gives me any speed and she chews right away so that lets me know that she nailed it and then I just two two parts of this lesson I want you guys to really pay attention to is I'm very light with my hand I do not force her in the pull like any lesson I ask her with a suggestion and then use my taps to um, have her increase speed and then she learns to follow a light command instead of me having to pull her hard enough to go. I, I pull her how hard I would like her to go and use my taps to for the motivation. So yeah she's been super good it's it's just um, she, and she is an easy one guys like I you know I, I halt to break a, a halt or train a lot of horses and you know she's definitely up there on the you know the top five or ten percent on being easy but uh, you know it's really good for her. she's really showing a lot of good stuff because she shows you all of the resistances that every horse has but she overcomes them really quick she's very smart and she figures out the pattern she figures out the motivation and and what I love about her is how much better she gets the next day um, she's gonna you know and it's it's she's gonna be that way her whole life you can tell that um, she's just going to be easy. She just kind of figures out what you want and goes to work doing it. It's awesome. And she's pretty to boot like that. And she's <laughs> double threat girl here. <laughs> she's, her legs are really straight. Her, she's got a big bum. She uses herself really nice. The biggest thing I've seen her is she's, she's genuinely afraid of, of, uh, of that flag, as you'll see here when we when we get to that so I'm pretty slow about it uh, usually on day one I can touch them with it but she's genu genuinely afraid of it and that's what I want guys I want them to be in the same emotion that they're gonna be in when something genuinely scares her and that's that's the purpose of the flag if if I just that's why I brought that flag out of the blue I had it kinda hiding through the panels there but if I just introduce that flag to her and show it to her like most people would with a baby they just think, oh, she's a baby. I just need to let her smell it and check it out. Now I can't use that flag to teach her what is the most important thing to teach her about handling fear. And uh, the most important thing I need her to learn from fear is to stop her feet, number one. And number two, allow me to control you in your face. Allow me to take control of your whole body when you are in that emotion so that's what i'm doing right here she's in that emotion and i'm pushing her and she's allowing me to she's yielding to the pressure that halter and i'm ready for her to hit that but she's already 
had a few restraint pulls and yielded to them, right? So I already have taught her that, so she's ready for this lesson. But if we, and the reason I'm talking about this, and I'll talk about it more as time goes on, because um, it's really it's really hard for people to understand where I'm coming from in the beginning when it comes to desensitizing, because they I shouldn't I should call it a different name I should call it teaching them to handle fear because that's more what it's about. If desensitizing just teaches them not to spook from things, and you can only throw so many things at them before you know you run out of time. You you don't live long enough to throw everything at them that could possibly be happening to them throughout their world there's always something out there that'll scare them so yeah this is the other side i've even sped it up a little bit more just so you'll you'll be able to go back through and watch it but i'm really ready for her to hit that restraint pull and the pattern i'm stopping on right here is when she stops her feet right when she the first time she don't move her feet when i bring the approach up yeah so that's that's what i quit on when she don't move her feet now I'm going to start to work on um, desensitizing with the whip a little bit more and make sure she stops her feet from the whip. I'm just taking it a step further. But like I said, guys, it's uh, I'll I talk more about desensitizing in every lesson, too. You'll hear me on podcast and, and uh, on the Zooms and stuff. But when you wrap your head around, in, in short, like what you want to do is teach them to handle fear by reprogramming them to stop their feet instead of bolting and allow you to take a feel of them through their through their face whether you got a halter on them or you got a bridle on them or whatever you got on them they they allow you to control them when they're in their most fearful state of mind so now this is her first day of move off the hand and this is about what I would do this is about how long I'd take it so she just needs to move from a subtle push of my hand really really slow I just give her four seconds and build my taps slowly and I'm closing in on her with my hand as I'm building the taps and because I took the taps to that level and and took her that far to move I released for one step if she would have moved earlier I may have taken it a step further on the first step but this is the second push so you'll see on this push I take it a step further I want her to give me a little more speed just like every lesson, every sand lesson. There, see, she give me just a little bit more speed. I'll let her chew that over. And that's my goal, is each time I'm going to keep ramping up that speed until she gives me that move without being tapped, and I'm going to release her, and she gives me that move early, and then I'm going to release her for one step, and then switch sides. Uh, you can see her, she lifted her head, so I'm going to take it up the scale a ways. And I even dropped a coil, right? I really dropped the rope and let her really jump away from me. And she licked and chewed there again. So I'm anticipating this time that she will move because she's fidgety, right? Like she walked on and, and when I let go and grab her again, like she, you can see she's fidgeting. She don't want to let me grab her. So you got to work on that. That uh, technique is in your lesson library. But I just want you to see how far I take each lesson on day one of each new lesson and how to build on it. So there's a the prep. When I start to move, I can feel she's yeah, right with me for one step. Just release for the first step and call it quits and that's what makes her learn through the night tomorrow when she thinks about that right she her motivation to do any lesson is to do less because when she does less early it's better than doing more late right that's how we just keep them willing and honoring every command to make them uh, safe for my grandkids and my grandma so this is the second time here of sped it up a little bit so just to hurry it up so yeah guys so you can see she's gonna it's gonna take about the same amount of times before she moves right away so right there it is she moved right off the first step there so i hope that uh, lesson all makes sense and take care guys i will see you on day seven